Coalition for Human Rights. And here I go. Uh, a group of us formed the CD11 Coalition for Human Rights after the election in 2022 that put Tracy Park in office. We knew back then that Tracy Park would not represent renters, vehicle dwellers, and unhoused people. We knew she wouldn't be representing people who value living in a diverse community with people from all walks of life. She is owned by real estate moguls, the police, and landlords, landlords like Douglas Emmett. Oh! The real estate investment trust that contributed over a half a million dollars to her campaign. Oh! The Police Protective League funneled three million dollars to her campaign through their PAC. Oh! Tracy has spent the past two years returning the favors, doing everything she can to keep traditional and permanent housing out of CD11. She has repeatedly expanded 4118 zones that ban city sleeping, lying, or storing property Whoa! in certain public places. Whoa! She's waged a war on RVs, expanding the area where parking is banned between 2 and 6 a.m. And finally, she's ramped up sweeps and encampments, which is nothing but a campaign to harass and destabilize people while offering no shelter. bedroom apartment. In my neighborhood, it's, it's anywhere from 20 to 2,500 for one bedroom. That is because the vacancy decontrol is vacated. The sky's the limit as to what a landlord can raise it. That is why people are homeless in this city. No one can afford to move. I am trapped in my apartment. I cannot afford to move on what I, on what I earn from Social Security. And for the city of Los Angeles, you know, they, they, they have taken some notice of the plight of seniors and tenants. We passed the tenant anti-harassment ordinance a few years ago. And let me tell you how that's worked out. I recently attended a meeting of the Housing and Homeless Committee, and the Housing Department gave a report. And since its passage in 21, there have been 13,000 complaints filed by tenants of harassment. And this has resulted and a grand total of 28 complaints being referred to the city attorney. And resulted in a grand total of four, count them, four citations being issued to, to the landlord. But you know something? That's four citations too much for the Apartment Association of Greater Los Angeles because their lackeys on the housing committee proposed weakening Tahoe. Monica Rodriguez, seconded by Melvin Mania on, on the board, immediately put forward 18 amendments to gut Tahoe. 